p.m., January 13, 2012. The Costa Concordia is just three hours into her weekly cruise around the Mediterranean. The huge vessel powers toward the Italian island of Giglio at a speed of 16 knots. On board, the Concordia's 4,200 passengers and crew enjoy the floating pleasure palace. They can choose from one of her five restaurants or enjoy a drink in any of her 13 bars. Stefania Vincenzi, her mother Maria Grazia, and a friend Luisa Versi sit down to dinner in the Milano restaurant on deck three. It was a beautiful evening. My mother was celebrating her 50th birthday. <laughs> Exquisite meals flow out of the ship's kitchens with factory line precision. But this typical evening of indulgence is about to be cut short. The ship strays dangerously close to shore, headed straight for a rocky outcrop. screeching like and then a huge crash and almost like an explosion it sounded like a freight train and that metal was just rubbing up against metal and then the ship began to list quite heavily everything is sliding off the tables people are screaming the lights went out. And the lights went out. The largest Italian cruise ship ever designed is going down. Stefania Vincenzi remembers every minute of that night. We stayed seated at our table because the, the people were panicked. We preferred to stay calm and stay seated. Also because the ship was already tilting. A series of horn blasts or alarms is the international signal to abandon ship. The alarm went off to abandon ship. Everyone was talking, saying, maybe it's just shallow water. Maybe this ship will stabilize. Instead, we began to hear the alarms. Mama said that there must be seven blasts with the last one long. Everything fell silent, and we started counting the blasts. We heard the seventh alarm. It had a prolonged blast. We looked into each other's eyes and said, here we go. When they finally lowered us down, they still, still, had, trouble they still had trouble releasing us. And at this point, you have to remember that the ship is leaning over us. Stefania and her mother get in line for a lifeboat on deck four, but it fills up before they can board. Her mother, Maria, announces she's returning to their cabin two decks below. Mama wanted to get a life jacket because it was cold and because her friend Luisa didn't know how to swim. We see the ship was on this angle, and there's all people on the bow of the ship yelling, help, help. Infrared footage from the rescue helicopters shows the escape ladder at the stern, and some of the survivors swimming the 20 yards to shore. 
Stefania does as her mother tells her and boards another lifeboat. I tried to call my mother to see where she was. She said that she was on a lifeboat and that she was arriving. I said, when you arrive, call me and tell me what part of the port you're in. But that call never came.